Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan from Milky Way Art Design. So today I have this 10 inch by 20 inch canvas and the pour that you see, I'm not very fond of it. So I am going to pour on it. Um, so a couple of videos ago, I did a video, if you recall, I was practicing on bigger canvas and when i was doing this i loved all these swirls and everything but what happened was this is not what i was going for i needed my flowers to, or blooms to be on the canvas don't get me wrong this is still a stunning piece Let, let's this just dried but look at the shine that and the shimmers that i have from all the pigments are phenomenal and uh, um, the composition that I have thicker on this side and it got some negative space over there which looks made it look really pretty but my goal was to have my blooms on the center so that's what I am going to practice today so let's start to start with, this is my base coat. I have some Floetrol and GAC 800 mixed into my uh, base coat, which is Giden Essential. Eggshell. I added some Floetrol and GAC 800. I probably said it just two seconds ago, but said it again. Let's make it a little thicker at the center. Okay. So let's start with the color. So we know that the purple and the i have a couple of greens here one and the other one is this light green they are opposite side of the color wheel so if i layer them on top of each other i will get mud so what i will do is i am going to kind of drizzle my puddles and they are not going to be uh, uh centered on top of each other um just to make sure that i don't get any probably i'll get some but not too much mud Let's see, I'll get a little more green. Now, my gold is. My gold is too thick, so I'm mixing some water to thin it down. These are all my leftover paints from one of my commission piece. When I was doing my commission, I did not record myself. That's one. The second one.
all the paint mixes that you see today i have mixed one part paint uh two parts liquitex basics pouring medium and then i mix those two together very well and after that i filled up my cup uh probably four parts of floral so then i mixed the paints very well and then i looked at the consistency if it felt very um when you uh mix it you should get just a mound and uh, if it felt too thick i watered it down to the right consistency as the other ones one thing i forgot to mention at the beginning which is both the white and the black at the end that i'm mixing see this white color and the black both of them are my cell activators and uh, the white is the australian floral recipe and the black is my us floral recipe so now i'm just blowing and i tried with my blow dryer i tried with my little um mini blower for as uh, some reason i cannot do that so i have to blow it by my mouth that's the only way for me as of now as you blow your job is to make sure that you are spreading the black or white cell activator on top of all the other colors cuz that's how you get the cells so that's why they are also called cell activator so as you blow you don't blow straight you blow diagonally so it will spread to the sides and you can see that i'm using my spinner to turn my painting to different directions so i can blow it properly had one now i'm just spreading it a little more further so the blooms are closer to each other now i'm just looking at these three blooms they are really pretty as far as color goes but they don't have any homogeneous um characteristics to them they are three separate blooms they are not touching each other they are pretty close but not close enough so i'm thinking i need to do something so all three of these bloom can be a single unit so now i am done with blowing what i'm going to do is this is my 24k gold what happens if i put my 24k gold here it kind of smears everywhere and i don't like that effect so i want more detailed look so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take some um paint or my stick and i'm going to maybe make a line or something
Okay. I'm not going to do anything on the center. I'm going to leave it as it is. Okay. Now, let's Pin. I have to move my let me readjust my station and camera then I'll come okay so let's spin probably should put some white Oh, my bad. Okay. So if I spin more, these things are going to go out, which I don't want. So what I'm going to do is I'll move, remove my spinner and i am going to stretch it sideways so let me move my camera We have plenty of paint at the center as you can see it's moving pretty fast let's cover this corner now let's go to this direction Now let's go and recenter everything.
what do you think i'm loving this i'm loving this i'm loving the centers they are so pretty this corner i'm not so sure let's see if i can well maybe how about i use some of my paint and give it a fake uh, some kind of definition Oh, I'm loving this one. What do you guys think? It's really, really pretty. Wow. I'm really happy with this one. In fact, I'm so happy that I'm going to do another one. I know, I know. Let me torch a little. Now let's bring it up. Look at this. It's phenomenal how pretty it looks. I promise you, picture doesn't do any uh, justice to this one. As I'm filming it, oh, like I feel like if I could show you in person, then you would see how pretty this is. And it's really blingy because I have a lot of gold everywhere. This blue and this purple are shining through the gold. It's just to die for. And look at this one. Wow. I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoyed my video until next time bye